This is the first step in building a, a reactor with through feed for gas and in this case for high voltage electricity. You can see here um, I've got a standard 12 millimeter high pressure pipe fitting and I've bored it a three millimeter hole for a pure nickel electrode which runs from right to left in this picture all the way across and at right angles to it sticking up in the air at the moment is a piece of stainless steel pipe which is actually connected with the inside of the fitting and will be the gas feed. Um, there's obviously a pair of these on a reactor tube. Just behind you can see the two copper uh, olives as they're called, the O-rings that fit onto the reactor tubing and I'm going to get them red hot too. That's called annealing and it makes the copper really soft and malleable so it folds down onto the glass without leaking. The next step in the process is for me to fix these tubes in, and the electrode in place using a very high melting point silver alloy which is good up to about 800 degrees centigrade. First of all I put a little flux on with a brush and then apply the heat, lots and lots of heat and then the silver alloy rod and it flows around to make a nice joint we hope. the flux in place, now for the heat. see the silver flow into position sealing up everything just when it reaches the critical temperature. Next step is going to be called pickle where you drop it in acid and uh, <laughs> I'll turn the camera off now. Here you can see the half finished reactor um, the two pure nickel electrodes inside with a spark gap in between which is going to have a 400 kilovolt um, spark jumping across it and uh, the gas feeds which are vertical in this shot left and right at each end and so we'll have a, inside a hydrogen atmosphere nickel and lithium and uh, around the outside, which you'll see in the next video, some very turbulent magnetic fields. Looking for heat internet store? We like to share the knowledge.